zombies, chainsaw wielding maniacs, and killer dolls that are not named Chucky. That's right, the Heavy Metal Gamer Halloween special finale is going out big with a review of Zombies Ate My Neighbors for the Super Nintendo. Now I remember the first time I seen Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Back in the mid 90s, if you went to Kmart, Walmart, or whatever, they had TVs that had game footage on there. And around Halloween time, Zombies Ate My Neighbors was shown on there. But I never played this game until 2003 or 2004. A friend of mine had the game and I watched him play the game for a bit. Then we played two players and it was just a blast back then. For sure, I wasn't very good at the game at the time, but it was just so fun. Now you're probably thinking, well, why didn't you play this back in the mid 90s and when it came out? Well, you gotta remember, and I've mentioned it in the past, I wasn't always up to date on gaming consoles and so on. When Zombies Ate My Neighbors was first released, I was still playing the NES. Zombies Ate My Neighbors was developed by LucasArts and published by Konami. It was released in 1993 on the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Now, in Zombies Ate My Neighbors, you could play as either Zeke or Julie. As they are the main characters of the game, you can either play single player or with a friend in local co-op. And you will go through a variety of areas, either a neighborhood, haunted castles, graveyards, shopping malls, pyramids, and more. You will destroy a variety of enemies based on horror movie monsters such as vampires, werewolves, demonic babies, squidmen, evil dolls, zombies, giant worms, aliens, giant ants, blobs, chainsaw-wielding madmen, and of course, killer dolls. One thing I like is how the monsters are based on classic horror films from the 50s to even modern, or should I say 80s, and early 90s horror movie slasher film characters like Leatherface and Jason Voorhees and Chucky and all of that. I think that's badass. Not only that, it kind of gives them a cartoon look to them. There are tons of levels in Zombies Ate My Neighbors with several bonus levels as well. I think there's over 50 or so levels in this game. I've heard a few people say there's like 100 levels, but I think there's only like 50 or 60 levels. I've never done an actual count. And you will need to rescue neighbors all around the level ranging from barbecue chefs, teachers, babies, tourists, cheerleaders, and more. Once all the neighbors are saved, you will find an exit door that will take you to the next level. Now you're probably wondering if there's a story behind Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Well, there is. Dr. Tung, a mad scientist, has created a wide variety of monsters within his castle. He sets them free to terrorize everyone around. Zeke and Julie must stop Dr. Tung and put an end to all the terror. Sounds like a simple plot, right? Well, it is, but the game can be difficult at times. And that doesn't make it a bad game at all. It's really a nice challenge. Now you're probably wondering about items and weapons and all of that. There's quite a few. There are keys you need to collect to open doors, health packs, potions, which can increase speed or transform your character into a powerful monster. And then the various weapons are really cool, ranging from a water gun, Uzi, bazooka, weed whackers, explosive soda cans, popsicles, tomatoes, silverware, dishes, crucifixes, Martian bubble guns, and fire extinguishers. Now each weapon has a different effectness on certain enemies, which is pretty cool. Like some enemies, you can't kill them or you can't hurt them, where that weapon might work on another enemy. And I like that. Kind of makes you use a little bit of strategy as well. The graphics for Zombies Ate My Neighbors are awesome. Very well done, colorful, great animations, great character sprites. The characters and enemy sprites look great. There is no glitching or slowdowns, especially when a lot of enemies are on screen. The game runs smooth, which is nice. Now, as you can see, the game is not a 2D side-scrolling platformer. It's more of a top-down view. And uh, matter of fact, the Zombies Ate My Neighbors engine was used in later games. And I think that's pretty cool. The music and sound effects are great. The music has a horror style to it, but at the same time it's upbeat and very enjoyable. It doesn't sound like a mangled turd or a disemboweled zombie, or, and it doesn't sound like two zombies banging each other. And I don't mean in the way you think, I mean, I mean like walking into each other. They'd be the slow and dumb zombies. What the hell were you thinking I was talking about? The sound effects are great and enjoyable, ranging from explosions to the sounds of the zombies and other enemies. Nothing I can complain about. The controls are very good and responsive. Moving around is easy. Using the weapons are very easy. Picking the weapons are easy. Picking the power-ups are easy. They are not slippery. Only time you may screw up and walk into a path of an enemy is if it's your own fault or you aren't paying attention. You need to pay attention when playing this game. I've had that happen to me many times playing this game, which I can't blame anyone else but myself. Nothing I can complain about when it comes to the controls. They are very well done. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> Overall, Zombies Ate My Neighbors is a badass game on the Super Nintendo. It's fun, tough at times, action-packed with great gameplay, awesome graphics, enjoyable music and sound effects, and very good controls. Really, there is no major flaws with this game, at least not to me there isn't. And I can't say there are a ton of minor flaws, there are some. This game is not perfect. And if anyone thinks I'm claiming this game to be perfect, because you guys know how I feel about saying a game is perfect, well, you're very much wrong. But to me, Zombies Ate My Neighbors is a classic Super Nintendo game, and even a Sega Genesis game if you've played it on there. If you like killing zombies and other horror characters, check out Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's badass. Now, if you want to pick up Zombies Ate My Neighbors, the game is 63% rare on rarityguide.com. eBay prices are around $33, $0.33, $29.99, $35, and so on. Most of the prices are in the mid-30s range, which isn't bad. If you can find it cheaper, go for it. I did see one copy at a local game store, and they wanted 30 bucks for it. And it was on their rare game shelf. Personally, I think 30 to 35 is a very reasonable price for this game. But if it's over that, to be honest, that's very ridiculous for a price. Sure, it's a badass game, and I love playing it, but even the best games are not worth extreme bullshit prices. If you have a Nintendo Wii, you can pick the game up on the Wii Virtual Console as well. So there's a few ways to get Zombies Ate My Neighbors. There is a sequel to Zombies Ate My Neighbors titled Ghoul Patrol, which was only released on the Super Nintendo. I personally have never played it, but I will do a review on the game at a later time. Now, I mentioned earlier about the Zombies Ate My Neighbor engine. In 1997, LucasArts did release a game on the PlayStation and Sega Saturn titled Herc's Adventure, which is very similar in gameplay to Zombies Ate My Neighbors. And it even has references to the game through a secret level. At a later time, I will also review Herc's Adventure. Now, there was rumor of a film being in development, but nothing else really came from it, and hopefully it doesn't happen. I don't think a Zombies Ate My Neighbors film would be smart in this day and age, unless it has the right directors and actors. But other than that, look at the track record of video game movies. While some of them I do enjoy, I mean, I enjoyed Super Mario Brothers, I enjoyed Street Fighter, I enjoyed Mortal Kombat. Didn't really care for the second Mortal Kombat film. I also enjoyed the Uwe Boll films like House of the Dead, Polestal, and I enjoy his non-gaming films. But there are games out there that are not worth turning into a movie. So hopefully we don't see a Zombies Ate My Neighbor film. Well, that's it for this Halloween special finale review. I hope you have a badass Halloween, and if you're going out to parties or even trick-or-treating, and maybe you have a younger brother or sister or a kid yourself, be safe and have fun. I hope you have a lot of candy, play some kick-ass horror-themed video games, and of course, watch some kick-ass horror movies. Personally, I'm going to sit back and watch some horror movies. I'm probably going to watch Halloween 3. That's kind of a yearly tradition for me. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, probably the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and even Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. Hell, I might just watch all of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre films. And of course, there'll be some other movies I'll be watching throughout the day. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Thanks for watching.